And welcome once more to Flashpoints. I'm Bob Orr, joined by Juan Zarate, our national security analyst. Juan, good to see you. Bob, great to see you. So the NSA is front and center now. The administration has to decide uh, how powerful do they want NSA to be, how far should the reach extend? Well, you had this commission come out with a number of recommendations that the White House is considering. The Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board has also reported to the White House. The key question here is how far will President Obama go? Because some of these recommendations are pretty extreme. Uh, extreme in the sense of uh, not only stopping the NSA's ability to collect in mass the met metadata, especially the telephone data, uh, but also recommending that this information be held outside, either in the hands of uh, the telecoms companies or in the hands of some third party. That would dramatically impact the ability of the NSA to continue to do the work it's been doing over the past decade. Um, and so that's a key core question, um, and I don't think the president is going to go that far. Um, I, I, he, I don't think he can do that for two reasons. One, it would hinder current capabilities. The NSA relies on these programs to put the, the, the pieces of the puzzle together. Second, there aren't the mechanisms, either the laws or the regulations, to actually have others collect the data and then have it accessed by the NSA. The telecoms companies don't want to do it. Uh, there's no requirement for them to hold it uh, beyond a certain time. And there is no third party that exists currently that would be a secure repository of this data. But let me ask you this. So the president appoints a commission, and, and these are big, powerful guys. And the commission says, here are the changes you need to make. Yeah. And then he says, no thanks. How does that work? Well, it's already understood that he's not going to adopt all of them. He has already said, for example, on one of the recommendations, I'm not going to split the command of the NSA and Cyber Command. It's a bureaucratic question, but he's already said I'm not going to do that. Um, so there are other things that he's, he's not going to do, and I think that's understood. I think the key is, can he demonstrate that he's actually taking these recommendations seriously and, and announce some things that would give... Uh, the American public and the international community some solace that he's taking this seriously. How do you sell reform, though? How, how do you make it look like well, reform if it's not really a reform? Well, I, th I think he can do a couple things. One, there are certain things he can do. For example, he can announce that uh, collection on certain foreign leaders on, you know, allied governments will not continue or won't or will be restricted. Not a big deal. Right. The White House is undertaking a review, and so they're going to announce something like that. Um, he can announce, for example, that he's going to have an advocate uh, at the FISA court. This is the court that uh, oversees these kinds of programs. And so you could have a, a quasi-independent advocate advocating for privacy and civil liberties against the government uh, before the court. So he's talked about that before. That could be something he announces. Um, you, could, uh, you could see a, a greater role for the Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board in managing and overseeing and and uh, announcing to the public what is happening with these programs. So greater transparency as to what's happening at the NSA. So there are things that he could do that demonstrate he's adopting some recommendations and taking seriously the question of transparency and accountability for what the NSA does. But in summary, you're not looking for sweeping changes. I don't think so. I think he's, he's met with internal resistance from the intelligence community. I think he's, he's balancing sort of the, the politics of this and the, the ramifications to the intelligence community. And I think one of the things the committee did that was not helpful to the president was to suggest that we should start to constrain collection abroad, not about foreign leaders, but just collection generally. And I, I, would, I would be shocked if the president were to adopt any of those recommendations because they are so extreme in terms of how the intelligence community does its work. We will see what he decides to do and where this goes. It's a tough balance. Juan, thanks very much. Thank you, Bob. And thanks to you again for watching Flashpoints. I'm Bob Orr. We'll see you next time.